Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a new pattern and this time it's Corzon's Hood from One Piece. If I butchered that name, don't come for me. I don't watch One Piece. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it looked super cute and still in the spirit of February, so I thought it'd be a good time to release it. But you guys let me know in the comments what kind of anime related things you'd like to see in the future. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. For this hat, you will need medium weight burgundy yarn, a 5mm hook, a yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. Starting with your burgundy yarn and 5mm hook, we're going to start with a slip knot and chain 72 if you're a small to medium and a 77 if you're a large. In the third chain from your hook, you're going to make a half double crochet. And then you're going to make a half double crochet into each stitch across. If you're making a small, you should end up with 70 stitches, and if you're making a large size, you should end up with 75. Okay, this is what you should have, and we're going to start every row with a chain 2, and we're going to just make a half double crochet into each stitch across, and you're going to repeat this for a total of 15 rows. I'll meet you back when you have that, and I'll tell you what to do from there. Alright y'all, welcome back. So for the 16th row, we're going to chain 2, and we're going to put an increase into the first stitch. And then we're going to make a half double crochet across in the next 68 stitches. And then in the last stitch, we're going to make another increase. In this next row, we're going to chain two and make a half double crochet across the whole row. You're going to keep repeating these two rows for a total of eight times, and I'll meet you back when that's done. Okay, now with that done, we're going to make our first strap, and to do that, we start by making 26 chains. In the first 15 chains, we're going to make a single crochet. And then in the remaining 10, we're going to make half double crochets. Now that the strap part's done, we're going to make another row across the hood, and it's an increase round, so we're going to do what we have been doing, making an increase in the first and last stitch, and I'll meet you back to show you how to make the other strap. Okay, with that row done, we're going to, you guessed it, chain 26. And then we're going to do 15 single crochets and then 10 half double crochets. Now that the second strap is done, we're now going to make a single crochet into each stitch across. To finish up the hood, we're going to put a slip stitch into the last stitch of the row, and then we're going to cut a short tail and pull through. Laying the hood down like this, we're going to pinch together the two sides of the shorter end together, and then fold the hood in half. We're then going to cut a piece of yarn about 18 inches we're going to connect it with a knot on the end of the hood. So now yarning our needle, we're now going to sew these two ends together.
After I've sewn all the way across, I like to finish things up with a double knot and then weave in my ends. To make the hearts, we're going to start with a magic circle. We're then going to chain three, and then we're going to make a treble crochet. So to do that, you yarn over twice, go into the circle, and pull through. And then you pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. You're going to make two more trebles into the circle. Now we're gonna make three double crochets. So you do that by yarning over once, pull through, pull through two, and then pull through two. Now make two more double crochets. Now we're going to chain one, and you're gonna make another treble. Chain one again. And then we're gonna mirror the image. So make three double crochets now. And then three triple crochets. Now to finish off the heart, you're gonna wanna chain three. And then make a slip stitch into the heart. Now you can take the short tail and close up the heart. Now you can cut the short tail really close. And then now we're gonna cut a longer tail so we can be able to sew it to the straps. So I cut about eight inches and then you just pull through. Now do it all over again so you have two. Okay, to sew on the hearts, you first wanna make sure your straps are facing the correct direction. Then you're gonna thread your needle and place your heart over the strap. You're then gonna sew it together down one side of the strap. And to make sure it wasn't floppy, I went back up the other side as well before finishing off. And don't forget to sew on the other side as well. All right, guys, and this is the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed making this pattern. It was pretty easy and I had fun making it. I hope you guys will consider subscribing to my channel and smashing that like button if you guys like free anime related crochet patterns brought to you every single week. I had a great time and I hope to see you guys next week. See ya. <laughs>